uh, can a PDF be inserted and scaled in TurboCAD? Then we have to go into PDF underlay. So underlay manager. So new in the file. We're going to pick as one of these PDFs. It doesn't matter which one. And there you can see we give it a name, my PDF. And then I'm going to say OK. And then OK. And then I go to insert underlay. Choose my PDF. And then I can click in the drawing and insert it. Once it's in there, I can then uh, select it and scale it. I can see the sizes there. I can draw a line to be a correct size, whatever whatever size I want this thing to be. I can just draw that line that big. Then I can select this. I can move it with a D and a V. Put it over there. And then there's a two-point scale where Modify, transform. Um, I'm not, well, let's just use the scale option. So we we'll turn the copy off. We we'll keep the scaling. So move it from there to there. Move it from there to there. And so you see, you can scale it once it's in there. And then oh, let's right click. See, that's a common mistake. Dragging the wheel mouse. You tend to do that. So I like to have that option set so that when I click and hold the wheel mouse button down it pans instead and the control shift hold instead of that being pan that's going to be examine and then close and then I can go to the top view and now I can pan around like that so you can see how you can scale and bring in the PDF like that if is in the file, let's just quickly turn our, our palettes on here. I want to see the select. So now when we select this, you can see it's an underlay. So now you can see this is an underlay. And then you can say modify and explode. And you can see it's broken it into a polyline and a block insertion. And then you can select the block insertion and explode that as well. And then it breaks it down into a group of graphics, which you can then select and edit. You see that's now a group of graphics. You can modify that and explode it as well. And then you can actually work it all the way down to editing these things. So each one of these is a group of graphics. There's a whole bunch of groups and lines. And but if you keep exploding it, you can get down to the basic uh, geometry by just keeping on exploding.